The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this matter. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. You disapprove of something the Chantry did? Are you allowed to do that? That largely depends upon one's company. While surrounded by those declared heretics already, I am safe enough. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? Farewell, revered mother. Until next time. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who is she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We're becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power, instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry couldn't solve its own problems when it had a Divine. Yet many people continue to bear it great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Andraste's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. So, if everyone listens to the chant, things will be smooth as silk. I did say commonality is merely a beginning, but it's an important one. We must learn to think beyond our own wants to secure peace in Thedas. How did someone so lovely and selfless go into Orlesian politics, Lady Montelier? Well, that is, uh, really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have a question. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you. How would you reply? Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. We should decide soon. The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. I'd tell the Chantry I was saved Circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. Apothecary Adon will have more pulses yes. for the injured as good. soon as possible, revered mother. Thank you, child. You are doing the mission. Please tell me if you find something. Have you been able to save many people? More than Please you tell me if you find something. Maker, though the darkness comes upon me, 
I shall embrace the light. I shall weather the storm. I shall endure. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. We can handle the mages, there's no need for Templars. Have any of these men faced an abomination before, my dear? Have you? The veil is broken, and the raw power of the Fade rushes out like floodwaters through a shattered levee. In ordinary places where the veil is weak, magic is much more likely to attract demons. And if demons can walk our world with no blood magic to summon them, how safe do you think our allies are? There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. You have a low opinion of your fellow mages. It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're right, but Templars are a poor solution. They are men, and all men are flawed. That some fail does not mean that none should try. The fact remains that there is no cure for an abomination except death. Someone must strike the killing blow. Who shall lower the blade if not a Templar? Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something to consider, my dear. Open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. She kills with kindness. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. I'll leave you to your work. When will you be able to get us the crafting supplies we need? <laughs> when they're ready, piss off. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the Temple was a coincidence theory. 
How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. Are you still there? I turned the microphone off earlier because our headset is not working, so I only have is the Connect audio, which is not great, so I was just going to basically record this just to have the gameplay, but since you're on, I'll uh, sit a little closer and try the Connect audio. I don't know if you can hear, hear very well through this or not. The Inquisition has the numbers to track down all this lyrium and destroy it. I'm not doing anything very exciting today anyway. I don't want to think about what happens if it starts a plague. I've got people finished all the mages, where the red all the, the first set of mages I think stuff. Maybe we should make that a priority. Doing some but grind and leveling that's stuff like that. And gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? I was planning to put my feet up. Maybe grab a nap. You? Whatever I do, it'll be as far from Cassandra as I can get. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Xbox on snap. Should okay. put your eye out. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. Never thought the Inquisition would be recruiting thieves. Do you have a problem with our new allies, with mages? No problem with mages. I mean, you know some that are all right. My problem is magic. If mages sat on their hands, everything would be fine. They're not really mages, are they? Great for them. Over there, away from me. Like she's the only one that I can like kick out all the time. You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats, I guess. Is Red Jenny real, or was she always just you and your friends? Don't know. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, Red is scary because blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need... There is conversations with Dorian? ...can't get with them. Numbers, yeah? An even spread is all it takes. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? Suppose. Probably not what that said. Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones. 
so no. I don't suppose it does. I did people from you. That doesn't even make sense. So where are the people you promised? Oh, I see. If I need, they won't be much use. That's sort of the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers. wipers. Right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it. Right in the... Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. In a million little ways. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes. Micro transactions. What? Uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. Risky, yeah. But you like a bit of a tease. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Hey, all the Inquisition. <laughs> we'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Here now. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the fade. I know what I saw. It was real. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I saw him there? Remember. So many were dead. More had been corrupted. Knowing what will happen if we fail. I suggest we not fail. Good Spoiler. idea. This guy is like. You should ready yourself. Four. This elder one. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Noted. The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Hallam Shiral? Cows milking farmers? I take it you don't agree. On the contrary, I approve. Partly. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. For majors in general, I mean. I wasn't going to make them slaves. I mean, come on. You've given southern majors license to, well, be like majors back home. Do I want to flirt with Dorian? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really that into him. I don't believe that. It's true. The conditions here are different. Southern mages aren't used to rule. I don't want to venture. The Imperium is a responsibility. Like but Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still. My homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. Oh, well, very well. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. I was going to flirt with you before I knew nothing about you. Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. I don't know, should I be a shameless friend with everybody? Just being friendly, right? Friendly? You certainly think highly of yourself. It's true. I could be more modest, but I'd be lying. No. Oh, really? <laughs> he doesn't really seem like I'm his type, I let's just say that. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinta in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Tevinta don't have children.
children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the Magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. I'm getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. He actually seems like he's a little bit less arrogant than maybe it seemed, or I don't know. He's like arrogant in his. I, I don't know. He has non arrogant ideas, but an arrogant way of expressing them. It just seems. So much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinta is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Huh? Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Tevinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Tevinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we killed them. All right, I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. He is. Can I go see him? I saw him before they locked him up. Oh wait, let's see. I know where that is. Despondent, broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew.
very many oh, hats that are very good. Mother Giselle, this is as much as I can spare. Make her bless you. Be better. better. Oh, no, buddy, old pal. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. Fiona has sent her best mages. This has to work. Course. In the meantime, I find myself choosing a lot more of the bottom options lately. Anything go wrong. What do you mean? All we have are theories. I believe our plan can work, but no one knows for certain what will happen. We need to take precautions. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. That's all for now. Another time, then. Is there a flirting option anywhere? I'd like to know more about the Templars. What would you like to know? I feel like I already asked all this stuff. You've lived in the circle. What was a typical day for a Templar there? <laughs> typical? The last time I was in a circle was right before... I'm pretty sure I already asked all this stuff. Typical. Kendra, what you got going on? And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal Hello. with yes. it? Help with this? I really like my armor right now. It's so shiny. It never ends, evidently. Is there an issue with the mages? Can I help? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. You would have done differently, I suppose. Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> You should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. I like that interaction. That was fun. I flirt with her more often. She's funny when I flirt with her, in the sense that she doesn't flirt back. <laughs> nice work at Redcliffe. I could help the mages learn to work with Inquisition soldiers, if you like. <coughs> Not that the chief has any apostates. Oh, the Red Bull guy. I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. The I chief. talked to him directly? First time I met him, he saved my life. I never thought I'd work for a Canary, but he grows on you. He's not like any commander I've ever worked for. That's for damn sure. How's Iron Bull as a commander? If you know what you're doing and hold up your end, he's easy. He doesn't accept any less. If he keeps us alive, he leads from the front, and if you've an idea that'll win the fight, he listens. I've seen bands whose captains had to prove they were swinging the biggest sword. Well, isn't like that. The charges might give him more lip than you'd expect. Great Every one of us would lay down our lives for the big ass. How did a Tavinta soldier wind up in a Kunari spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble, trying to flee Tavinta. A tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Bull killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. 
Patched me up oh. and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. That's how he lost the eye? Yes. The guards had me on the tavern floor when Ball came inside and yelled for them to stop. One of them saw trouble coming and figured he'd finish me off. The guard had a flail. Ball put himself between me and the blow. They can't, idiot. Didn't even know me. Is it strange to work for a Kunari? He hasn't tried to convert us to the Kune, if that's what you're asking. The Ball's charges don't care who you light a candle for, so long as your shield stays up. If he hadn't told me he was Ben Hasroth, I'd have thought he'd left that life behind. I didn't expect he'd tell you all that he was a spy. Not the whole band, but those who've been around long enough to trust. He figures most of us would find out sooner or later, and it should come from him. Eyes to eye, he says. It's never messed up a job. He just writes letters back home. Lots of the boys write letters back home. We'll talk later. Oh, I can talk to him. I'm gonna ask him the other questions. They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Canari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team, but he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. the leader the inquisition has done all right so far without an inquisitor that's because all we've needed so far is damage control reaction a group can handle that once you've sealed the breach it's going to be time to make decisions someone's going to have to step up ah who knows maybe you seal the breach the chantry gets off its ass and all those soldiers go home and get fat you think it could happen. It won't. But it could. Smart. Travel safely. Mr. Dennis! It's good to be back at work, Inquisition. And lucky you have me. In lesser hands, you'd be in trouble. Haven can't support the mounts you need, but I can. How are your charges? Well supplied? Haven is groaning under the weight. It wasn't built for this. But we'll make it serve. Heard anything worth noting? Too busy to hear things, and that's how I like it. Farewell. Make her be with you. I want to get these other things. That'll do, do fine. Smithing is hot work. Cleansing a rune. Can't do runes yet, though.
bad at naming things. Long enduring great blade. In crushing grip. I can't use that haft that I just made. Huh. Oh, two-handed haft. Okay. I'm gonna give these to uh, Sarah. It looks like the haft would go on this battle axe. Like hafts go on battle axes. Because uh, the swords get grips. Yeah, swords get grips, battle axes get hafts. Half, half, those things. Half get grips. Daggers get grips. 
why I couldn't put that grip on this. Anything on the armor side that would be good? Armor of God, I don't know how good it is, but it's found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need and your attention. You were with me, you didn't so... didn't to take the time to help me. And yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the wardens, then it was worth it. You've proven yourself to be an honorable woman. Principled. Yeah. I've great admiration for you. And I've never been more certain in my decision to join you. Seems the easiest to flirt with. I would never have guessed that you admire me. Of course I do. You have the world at your feet, myself included. Wait, stay there. I don't deserve that sort of reverence. Modest too. Your list of qualities continues to grow. Now. We should return to our duties before I get too carried away. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull. Yeah, I've already done this. I already did. I already did. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. And it was particularly funny because I actually had him in my party the whole time. Just about the whole time I was looking for the warden things. So... I don't know what he's talking about. 